What's going on YouTube? GSN right here. So in today's video I have great news for those of you who were waiting for a jailbreak on iOS 15.0 up to 15.7.1. A jailbreak with tweaks has been released and it's the Pale Rain. It has been updated and is much better than it used to be. This video is brought to you by Tenorshare iAnyGo. This program allows you to change the location on your device for any application that uses the GPS data, which means that you can basically open the application, change location here, select your device, and then select any location on the map. You can basically zoom in, zoom out, select the location, even down to the street and stuff like that, and then press start to modify. Press continue and your device will now believe it is in the actual location you specified. You can go with single point movement from A to B, you can go with multi-spot movement from A to B to C to D and so on, and you can even customize the speed towards that point, so that your device believes it's actually moving towards that location. This helps for games like Pokemon Go and any other game that uses the location data, and even to conceal your location on social media and so on. Check the program out in the link below, there is a free trial available, and the program works both on Windows and Mac OS. So a couple of days ago we had a peculiar tweet from the ODC team. They announced another jailbreak being released, or rather updated. They said, quote, our friends over at the Pale Rain team have just released an update that adds tweak support on iOS 15.4 plus, as well as tweak injection into apps. Below are links you will need to follow if you wish to use it. Please be aware that this is only for Checkmate vulnerable devices, the Checkmate vulnerable devices being the iPhone 10 and older. Now Nebula posted this a couple of days ago. Hiya, we have released Pelrain for all Checkmate devices on iOS 15.0 up to 15.7.1 with tweaks. This is also much more stable since it uses FS boot. If you're switching from rootless, please click remove in the tips app first. And of course, if you want to follow the Pelrain team, this is their Twitter, you can go ahead and follow them right now. This is their official one. Now this is a completely open source jailbreak and it's actually great. It actually is what I intended to do with Blizzard. So at this point it kind of negates the need for updating Blizzard anymore. Because this is indeed a great jailbreak working on 15.0 to 15.7.1. I will still complete Blizzard but at this point this is a project very similar to it. So if you are waiting for Blizzard, Pelrain is basically the same thing probably even better. Now, it might still have some bugs here and there, it's not entirely perfect and it is a little bit confusing. I did explain here in this article that I have on my website, link will be below, what tweaks are compatible with Pale Rain and also the versions of Pale Rain because as you can see, I even included it here on the website, there used to be two versions of Pale Rain available, one rootless and one fully tethered because for the rootless one we would need tweak injection to be updated like, you know, like libhooker or something substitute and so on. But now they moved to a semi-tethered one and the rootless one. The rootless one still doesn't have tweaks, but the semi-tethered one does. Now there is a problem with the semi-tethered version. It's recommended that you have at least a 32 gigs device, because the jailbreak itself will take about 10 gigs from your device in order to set up a fake file system and stuff like that. That is to basically get away with some sort of remount and stuff like that, so they needed to do that. But if you have a 16 gigs device, it's probably going to be problematic. So I would recommend you to have at least a 32 gig device, just in case. Or if you don't have one, wait for the rootless version to be updated. However, the semi-tethered one, which is basically like CheckRain, allows you to have tweaks now and even tweak injection in apps. For iOS 15.0 up to 15.7.1, so the entire iOS 15 range is supported. So yeah, good luck. Thank you for watching, I am Geosnow, peace out.